good morning everyone welcome to our channel so today guys i'm going to be sharing you this easy recipe ramen noodle soup it, this is inspired recipe by uh from kuya jimbo when i saw this on his channel i told myself that i'm going to make it because it looks so delicious and it was so easy to prepare but before we go any further everyone if you have not subscribed to our channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and also hit that bell that way you will get notification whenever i upload a new video and if you're returning subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for joining here with me today. As I show you this delicious and so easy recipe. This is good for lunch or for dinner. It's really, really easy. So keep on watching everyone. Alright guys, on this recipe guys, uh, you can use rotisserie chicken that you can buy at Costco, uh, Publix, Walmart. And I think Kroger has some chicken as well that they cook in the store. But yeah, you can buy it or you can bake your own chicken. So what I did, since I don't have any rotisserie chicken, I decided to just bake a whole chicken and I flavor it with butter, garlic salt, uh, steak seasoning, taco seasoning, uh, and black pepper. And I just smeared it and I bake it for a hundred and well, I bake it for an hour and fifteen minutes at three hundred seventy-five. So uh, I know it, it's gonna sound long, but guys, the chicken was so moist and oh my gosh it was a perfect uh, flavor and also what i did guys to keep it moist is i mix olive oil and soy sauce together i just mix it and every like 15 or 20 minutes i brush the top of the chicken that way it stays moist and also i boiled i boiled three eggs and i used three ramen noodles and i boiled them in one pot kuya uh, jimbo have the sachet you know that comes with the ramen noodles he boiled it in a different pot but what i did is i just boiled them in one pot and i scooped the noodles out and then after i scooped the noodles i put one tablespoon of butter in that pot to add the flavor so just keep on watching guys and i'll show you how i created this delicious meal thank you thank you everyone good morning everyone for lunch today guys i'm going to be baking this uh, chicken so and then i'm gonna make a ramen noodle soup uh it's inspired by jimbo 360 so i'm gonna bake this chicken i'm gonna season it with pepper garlic salt chicago steak seasoning uh, taco seasoning and black pepper and then uh, i'm gonna season it with uh, butter as well so i'm gonna bake this for about an hour and 30 minutes or until the chicken is done my oven right now is preheated at 375 so everyone this is how the chicken look after i season it with uh, garlic salt uh, pepper and the other seasoning i showed earlier so just gonna wait for my oven to be ready and I'll bake this for an hour and 20 minutes or until the chicken is done. So everyone, this is how the chicken look. Uh, I baked this for an hour and 15 minutes and I brush olive oil and soy sauce mixture on the top of it. So it looks really good and it's smelling good. So I'm gonna let this cool down. That way... Uh, I won't waste any of the juice and then I will slice this and put it on the top of the noodles later. So everyone, I boiled, uh, I put three ramen noodles in my boiling water and on Koya Jimbo guys, uh, he did his sauce different. He boiled the sauce in a different pan but i just went ahead and put the flavoring together with the noodles and then i'll just strain the noodles later and then i plate it uh, i just my other part is just busy so i'm just put using this one part right here so i'm gonna boil this for about three to four minutes and then scoop the noodles out in there and put it in the plate and add my veg vegetables Alright guys, my noodles is done. So uh, I'm going to scoop the noodles out and then uh, I'm going to flavor the sauce with uh, a little bit of butter because that's what Kuya Jimbo did. He put butter 
on the sauce so I'm going to put that after I scoop the noodles all right everyone I added some butter and I'm just going to let it melt and then uh, I'm going to start plating my soup all right guys here is my ramen noodles I drain it from the sauce and here is my chicken guys I just I slice some and and I just use my hand to peel the the meat out of the chicken leg and chicken wings then I have my three eggs right here and the green onions guys I'm gonna be using this lettuce to go with our soup so those are just very easy guys so <clears throat> I'm gonna put the noodles first and then my leaves my greens and then chicken eggs and green onions all right everyone and this is how the bowl look after I put the noodles the eggs the green onions the chicken and the lettuce I choose this lettuce because it's a mixture of different leaves and it's really really good and look how the bowl look it looks so amazing guys and it was very delicious so now what I'm gonna do is add the sauce that I uh, boiled with the noodles this is like the, the the same water I use for noodles but I just put the sachet that comes with the rami noodles and what I did with this is add a butter yes I add butter as you can see on my previous uh, video it's over there with the butter I put about a tablespoon of butter on this one and it's ready to be served guys this is for Charlotte she is very very excited and look how that look it looks so delicious everyone thank you thank you so much for watching and i hope that this inspire you to be creative in your ramen noodles bye bye everyone